Hi, Will. So things are still a bit sombre here ever since Mr Bertram came back. Um, I'm kind of relieved though, now that the film's over it means that things can go back to normal. They pretty much have already. I mean, Mrs Norris had her say in the whole thing. She was completely against it, saying that it was a stupid idea and that it was a waste of money and then suddenly she'd offered her services to make sure that no more money was wasted than necessary. <laughs> and to her, I've been slacking off all months, when in reality I've been working twice as hard. Mr Bertram is too angry at Tom to really pay much attention to her though. But I am having to work double shifts. Yates scarpered the evening that Mr Bertram came back. Uh, Mr Bertram made it very clear that he wasn't welcome here and Yates was upset by the fact that once again money and the system had come between him and his art. And um, Tom and his dad were yelling at each other all night and Tom left the next day. And I'm not sure I can blame him. I mean, if Mr Bertram was yelling at me, I'm pretty sure that I'd want to get out of here. I haven't said anything about the kiss between Ree and Henry. I mean, I could be reading too much into it. That They could have just been rehearsing. And things are already complicated enough around here without me throwing around accusations. So yes, long story short, Lover's Vows is no more. And apparently <clears throat> I've got a lot of time wasting to be making up for. You know, I used to think that nothing interesting could ever happen around here compared to where you are. But, I mean, it's been a funny few weeks. And with the wedding coming up, <clears throat> I can't imagine that that's going to calm down anytime soon. Hi Will! Hey Will! I cannot find it or Julia, and so today my lovely assistant is Mary. Always a pleasure. <laughs> so Mary, tell us what has been going on since the Mr Bertram fiasco. Oh, um... Nothing! Because no one's here. Uh, Ed and Julia are off doing uni work, mm. uh, Yates and Tom Scarford, <laughs> and Henry... I've not seen Henry today. Oh, uh, Henry went back to London last night. Really? Did you, you know? No. Oh. oh. Well, I think he only said goodbye to me, to be honest. Mm. Is he alright? Oh, of course he is. He just gets bored quickly. Mm. You know, no fun now, especially since the boss is back. Yeah. Anyway, he's got, he says he's got no reason to stay at Mansfield now. And since he's in London, he can work. Because there are no more distractions. <laughs> See, I made you crack a smile. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I'm kind of glad Lovers of Bowser's over too. They were just... I don't know, it's like there were too many... Uh, Big personalities? <clears throat> well, yeah, I was going to say egos, but... Yeah. Just... Like, Rhea and Julia just glaring at each other all the time. And Henry... Like, I know he's my brother, and I have to deal with him every day, and I love him. But... I don't wish that upon anyone else. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like... A big bubble of tension waiting to pop, but now... Feels like a weight has been lifted. Exactly. But speaking of distractions, I guess it's going to be all weddings here at Mansfield mm. now. Well, it's about a month away, isn't it? And now mm. there are no more distractions. Rhea has got no reason not to be planning her wedding. I shall brace myself. Shan't we all? <laughs> so, I'd like to say that things will probably calm down around here, Will. I don't think that's likely, considering the weddings. Yates and I started making a trailer for your Lover's Vows. Uh, I'll probably finish that and then I'll send it on to you. I'll send it to Yates as well so he doesn't feel like the whole thing was for nothing. But until then, uh, talk to you later. Bye, Will. Bye, Will.